12 high-end luxurious smelling fragrances to rock this fall season. If you want to know these fragrances, stay tuned after this intro. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. In today's video, I have 12 great luxurious smelling niche fragrances at the most part because some is doubtful, could be niche, or could be like high-end designer. So it's all up to you. But the overall smell and aesthetics to these fragrances that they are on the higher end of scale and luxuriously smelling if you want to smell your best this fall season. I'm really excited for this list. I'm really excited also to start wearing these fragrances. Fall again is my favorite season in terms of fragrances and I'm really cherishing this time of the year. But before I start showing you my list, please show me some love by clicking that like button, subscribe and share that video. Also, I'm just gonna leave links to all these fragrances somewhere in there, just look around and see if anything grabs your attention. So let's just go with my number 12. A number 12, it's a great scent. I personally think this is one of the best woodsy scent ever created. It is so luxuriously smelling and it is definitely on the higher ends in terms of smell and price point. And yes, I'm talking about Royal Oud by Creed. This is pretty famous in terms of woodsy scent and it totally deserves it. What a great woodsy, cedar woodsy with a touch of sweetness when this one dries down, touch of creaminess because of the woodsy nuances when it dries down as well. Gor gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Oh my God, Royal Oud. I am actually truly craving to wear it right now. The fact that I'm just smelling it right now. Let's just grab another one because we don't want this video to just to be way too long. Carlisle, another great patchouli woodsy vanillic scent. Dark, mysterious, but very likable. Carlisle is definitely one of my top five best perfumes, the Marley bar none. Such a beautiful scent that I personally love it. And it lasts and it projects and it's got some great, great performance. Performance. Another great one from the house of Maison Francis Kirk John. It's another oud scent and this one it calls oud, just oud. It is sweet, it's dry, it's a little green with the papyrus. Definitely unique, definitely smells luxurious. Definitely smells on the higher end of scale. If people smell this one on you, they know this is not your typical Sephora stuff. This is expensive. All these fragrances smell expensive, not your typical designer fragrances that you find on your typical department store. Another great one from the house of Bi Killian. This one is not on the popular side in terms of the Bi Killian house. It got discontinued at a certain point in life, but they just brought it back. One of my favorite, milkiest, creamiest sandalwood smells, like bar none. I just love this one. Oh my God, Sacred Wood by Killian. This is expensive. Expensive. When people smell this one of you, they'll know this is something expensive. It's not your typical designer stuff. Great, great fragrance from the house of by Killian. Sacred Wood, I personally love. Oh, this is so good. This is the first niche fragrance I ever purchased in my whole life. And I'm talking about Shergi by uh, Sergi Lutens. This is so good. Honey, tobacco. Ambery, sweet, dark, warm, sensual, great, great stuff. This is really good, especially when it's cold outside. Shergi by Serge Lutens. Just go smell it somewhere. Get yourself a decant or something or just go grab yourself a bottle. This one, worth it. I just have another one. This is the newest uh, fragrance that I just got a sample of just to try it out. I'm working on a review. I've been just slacking just to actually do this review. I've been like wearing this fragrance a lot lately. And I'm talking about Black Liqueur by Tom Ford. This is some different stuff. Not for everybody. It got me some negative feedbacks. 
And he also got me compliments. Definitely boozy, inky, different, but in a good way for me personally. But again, this is very niche, luxuriously smelling and an acquired taste, not for everybody again. You're just gonna have to try before you buy, especially that this one, it's expensive, it's not cheap. But if you tell me Tom Ford came back big this time with this fragrance right here. Tom Ford doesn't care of what people think. If he likes something, he'll just gonna launch it. And this is it, Black Liqueur. I personally love it, but it's not for everybody. A lot of people would just hate it. And ladies, especially when you first spray this one on, would get you some hate. I got that. But then, same ladies will love it when this one dries down. And it lasts forever and it got some great projection as well. Let's have another woodsy scent. Dry, woodsy, but fresh at the same time. But it smells very luxurious. Leaves are dry and fallen of the trees. And this is how this scent smells with a lot of freshness on top. And I'm talking about Kobe by Zerzhov. Think of a really nice fresh scent, expensive niche fresh scent, like Neo for instance, combined with Royal Oud by Creed. It just kind of like gives me hints of these two fragrances combined together in a very good way. Most of woodsy scents, it's on the mature side. So if you are a youngster or a teenager, probably, first of all, when it comes to pricing, these fragrances are on the pricier side, plus they're not on the sweeter side, just to attract teenagers or very young people. This is a little bit more sophisticated. So if you just wanna smell sophisticated and you don't mind spending for quality, these are the fragrances for you. Let's just have another one, which is great. A leathery, fresh, a little bit floral, but different floral. Masculine, beast mode, different. Not for everybody again, but I personally think this is great. And I'm talking about Soleil de Jeddah by 777, Stefan Humbert Lucas. What a beautiful scent that is, guys. It is masculine floral, it's leathery, it's fresh, it is different, it's got some oomph into it. It's got a little bit enough sweetness that makes it likable. But it's definitely a very masculine scent in my honest opinion. Let's just have another one, uh, which is uh, French Lover. Again, the cedar wood aesthetic of this video, very luxuriously smelling, smells handsome, but in a mature, manly way. It's not your young handsome at all. It's not sweet. And this one is very fresh, elegant. It smells like pencil shaving in a way, but it's very subdued pencil shaving. Now I'm talking about French Lover by Frederick Mall. I love this one. I think it smells very, very handsome for a man on his 30s and up. Great, great scent. The newest fragrance from the House of Creed, and I'm talking about Santorius. <clears throat> This is a great scent, guys. Beast mode, something totally different from the House of Creed. It reminds me a lot of African leather, Grand Soir. Very spicy, very ambery, different, but good, good, different. I love Santarius by the House of Creed. Definitely a compliment magnet for sure. It's sweet, ambery, resinous but in a very good way. Let's just go back to this video's aesthetics, which is woody, dry, sandalwood based scent. And this one from the house of Tom Ford again, and this one called Santal Blush. One of my favorite Santal or like sandalwood based fragrances, like for sure. Floral on top a little bit, a lot of creamy sandalwood. It smells great. I need to wear this one very soon. I haven't worn it in the longest time. Santal blush ever since I smelled it long time ago on a woman, probably 12 years ago or something. At my previous job, I had to ask her what fragrance she had on. I just had to go buy it for myself because I just loved it. It's such a great, great, like high-end scent for sure. Last but not least, my favorite Nasa model, and I'm talking about Pardon. This is very chocolatey, patchouli, 
very sexy, very sensual, bold. This is the vintage, so it's got some great performance. I love this one. This one smells regal, smells high quality, smells definitely luxurious. Pardon by Nasumaro is definitely my favorite Nasumaro again. So this is my 12 higher end niche expensive smelling luxurious fragrances. If you want to smell classy and elegant this fall, please let me know in the comment section down below. What is your favorite of this 12 fragrances that I just showed you today? And what is your favorite? What would you wear if you just want to be elegant and classy this fall? I'm curious, comment in the section down below. Please show me some love by liking, clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. Share this video and see you guys next time. Peace.